Hello, welcome to Netu TV. This is Ways of Love, Love in the Air. And we're here to talk about love, relationships, sex, yeah, and everything about it. And I'm sure you don't want to leave, you don't want to halt, you don't want to you don't want to miss it so stay glued to it this is ways of love coming to you every now and then on the two tv and tonight i'm here with my sister 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 Hello. <laughs> okay so i am nanesi boateng and um, christ love achiman christ love and i'm a drug crento a drug crento who's in here die <laughs> okay so we're talking uh, this um evening about whether or not you need to discuss your past and future with your present partner but before let christ love give us a little detail about waves of love christ love waves of love is a special netu tv program where issues on relationship are discussed mm. our main goal is to reveal model relationship and marriage through consistent discussion okay so consistent discussion she said we are here to talk about it i know you would like to join us so on facebook on youtube or on twitter you can send your messages we'll read them for you and we get interactive because everything is of our love yeah okay so first of all mm -hmm. is it necessary to discuss your past and future with your partner I mean the current partner. Mm -hmm. Vida, what do you think? I think it is so necessary, mm. especially with your past. If you are seeing the future, mm -hmm. then definitely the past is supposed to come in. Because you don't want a situation where when you are moving ahead of time, now you have to come back mm -hmm. and talk about the past. Because really, who wants to go to a third floor and not finish the aim and come back to the ground floor? Mm -hmm. Ew. Okay, so you have to talk about it. You have to talk about it. What do you think? For me, I suppose that it's necessary to talk about it, but until the person asks, there is no need for you to talk about it. Until, until the person there, asks. one person is interested, then you can talk about it. Okay, so if the person is not interested, no need. There is no need. Okay. It. And you know definitely what is going to affect the relationship moving forward. There's no need. There are two sides to this. Okay. It mm -hmm. might affect the relationship. It might not affect the relationship. Mm -hmm. Because you can be in a relationship and nothing of the past can pop up. Mm. Okay, you have a point. So you keep that under your sheets. Yeah. Until it's pop up. Exactly. Then okay. you go back to resolve. Okay, and by the way, you are saying you don't have time going back from the third floor to the back floor. to the first let's floor. Let's achieve the aim and then let's see if we can move on to the fourth floor. So let's discuss it right when you know that we are going somewhere you don't want to know that we are, there's a future and there is that past let's say if there's this road if i'm going to that road with you definitely i know that people will be pointing fingers at me okay that, that that i should let you understand that where we are going to you will find people pointing fingers at me so when you see that it's because of that 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 so as soon as we get to that place and you see the fingers you are covered. You know why it is. It's not when after we have passed that route, you ask me, what was that all about? And I have to come and tell you. Oh, you know something happened. Uh -huh. I'll tell you. So you know that. it. And when we pass it, oh, okay. So she told me the truth. Okay, that is why they are doing that. It's okay if you know and something pops up. But if you don't know and it pops up, like, why, should it, why didn't you tell me? It's like drama, emotions that you didn't need and it brings you back to your needs okay i line. also think that yes you have to discuss your past and future with the partner mm -hmm. however um, it brings me back to my question what exactly in the past do you think you have to discuss must you discuss everything everything, everything. hey everything. Rider. <laughs> unless, that, unless you know that uh -huh. this one day they can't I say, I don't say cry. I didn't say I ain't in it. Okay. Yes, that's a tell point. Say that brings a breakup. If it's a breakup, there's there definitely somebody else somewhere. Oh. There's so many fishes in the sea. What if that fish is not your fish? <laughs> so if that thing that is about you that you think that you should know, and the person is not mature enough to say, okay, I'm in with you in this mm -hmm. journey, brother, mm -hmm. the world is your front. Chrysler, what do you think? 
personally, I think you have to check the maturity level of your partner. Okay, that's There are some too. people, immediately if you tell them about your past, they see you in a certain way. They think that maybe your past has an effect on you. Mm-hmm. There are some people too, when you tell them about your past, they see you based on how they are seeing you now. Okay? Okay. Because when, for example, if you talk to your partner about a past that was negative, immediately something happens and then you start showing signs or an attitude. They will think that, oh, this is the same attitude that you showed to your partner and that is the and same then you're bringing it up that you're repeating. Okay. Okay. So they will hold your past against, exactly. against they you. They will see you in a certain way and when something happens, they would suppose that whatever happened is repeating itself and that thing didn't allow the relationship to work so this one thing might not work okay. okay so i have a pass and um this lady is saying that in her past relationship she was she was unable to um maintain one sexual partner okay this guy he met is one guy who is um, what we call the crif. So, sex is not really the thing for them. Okay. However, he, she would like to have sex almost every day. And if possible, four times a week. Wow. wow. And this guy is not the kind of person who will give her what she wants. Machine talk about it to the partner because she is in that need of sex yet. Well, I should be into the hospital because probably there is, there is a medical... <laughs> serious? No, medical. but probably there is a medical, like, you know, you can go to the laboratory, you have something, something, something. No, because of sex, she has a problem. No, she might have a high libido stuff. You no, see, I'm talking, this is in connection with the past because yeah. she used to have mm-hmm. double partners, mm-hmm. sex partners. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now she's in another relationship with a Christian guy who is not so interested in sex. Personally, I suppose sex is an issue of the mind. You decide whether you want to have sex or not. Even when the feelings are there, you decide whether you want Every, to Everything <laughs> we do in life is an issue of the mind. It's Christ, a decision. I disagree. Even because for you, you to, to love someone, whatever, of it's course. a decision. Exactly. So mm-hmm. she has to work on herself. If the guy is not interested and she is interested, she has to work on herself. Because the guy is coming from a different background and she is coming from a different background. Based on her past, this is what she's interested in. Mm-hmm. And based on maybe the guy, how he has been brought up, he's not in, maybe he thinks that premarital sex is a sin. No, are you saying that the girl should, the question, are you saying that the girl should not discuss the issue with the current partner, but rather she should work on herself? Yes, for me she should work on herself. It's not that easy. Well, you just finish a kind of relationship. To me, Rider. I think she should try and see if she can find a solution. Looking at the Which reasons, is, going to the hospital or looking for other things to do life. when she feels like it. Other Read things. the Bible or do something. Call people. Just do something that is I'm sure people out of watching some of the ladies are looking at you with like some why don't I have to read what I in the Bible? <laughs> I do have things, but well she's been in a relationship of that sort before Mm -hmm. how did it end for her Mm -hmm. so she already has something in mind that okay so all this i was doing it really didn't work out for me so this person i feel like he is the end to everything Mm -hmm. she should be able to risk it all for him so because yeah because most of this if a male doesn't want premarital sex it means that person Many a times it comes with an issue of trust. Maybe you have discussed that in my previous relationship I used to have sex and all that. And now this guy is not interested in sex and you have, you have discussed it with him. So if this guy sees you with another guy, maybe that person is just your friend. Yeah. And so that is your reason you why you are saying you shouldn't discuss your past with your friend. Don't use the past against exactly. you. If the guy sees you with another uh, guy, he would think that 
what I'm not giving to my lady. She's trying to get She's it from another guy. But guy. What, what, what if, from what Vida is saying, mm -hmm. if she had already had a conversation with a guy, mm -hmm. don't you think something would have been done about it? Yes. Because of, obviously, from what she's saying, what the guy loves What if her. even the guy is not even acting under pretense? Because you know uh, some people are really know about church that? guys, church guy. but they have other relationships with people. If she should mention it to this guy, he might even give in to her. Cause it's but the issue on premarital sex, is premarital sex right? No, no, no I don't want to you to bring day. this you one are going in. I beg you, Christ of our, no, our, no, our, no. Our, our discussion today. Whether it's right or not. It's we, you. We, we, let's say that for another table. day. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, now based on what you are saying, what exactly must you discuss if you are saying, Vida, you have to discuss certain things with her. What exactly do you think you must open up to and what are the things you think you, you have to keep, you know, to avoid setting um, reactions. Okay, so to me, I believe that when you're in a relationship and you see a future, like the future is that clay, it's mm. not black and white, it's clay. Mm. You should discuss everything. What do you mean by it's clear? What's clear? Like, if you know it's... The leaving, guy is a, mar a marital material. Yes, <laughs> yes. Or it's <laughs> heading to that point. You know, okay. there are points where your discussions are different you see when like you say Hong Kong come like atmosphere and this is the sun. Because most relationship when you do baby are hum I ain't different. Mm. If you see that it it is doing like it is going that way, you should you be can going discuss that way. Everything. Wow. Yes, discuss everything. And when you let it all out and they tell you pack your bags and go or the relationship is over. So by I then you pack and go. That ah, if the person that there are so many fishes in the like, sea. You you tell the person even if the person doesn't ask. That's what I'm saying. If I'm seeing saying. a future, it's mm -hmm. not you don't have to let the man. It's, you shouldn't wait for the man to ask you. You should know what you are supposed to discuss with your partner. Mm -hmm. What do you want the person to know? As of when you've gotten to, do you understand? Yeah. So I'm I'm saying if there is a future, if there is a clear future, you know the things about you that you know where we are going to. It might pop up. Let's so say, you open instance, up on those. Yes, things. you just have to open up. You don't. You don't want to mess up. At least if you open up, you've done your part. Mm -hmm. Then it is for him to handle it. If he is saying, okay, I'm with you on this. Let's go on. No, I'm not. Then you will cry and all over. And then you and come you back. start all over again. You keep yes. starting. If you don't get the right if, person if you to stay get, with you, you yeah. keep so starting I think and all, over and all share, over again. After you share this, your past with someone and it ends badly, sister, next time, that's past. That person you have to past. polish the past that and bring it out. Oh. Of your past. No. So he, he, he has also added up to your exes because you. No, told but Christ about love, for what you are saying, <laughs> if you say that until the person asks, you are not going to open up. Mm -hmm. Then you will be having baggage, yeah. a lot of baggage with you because everybody has got a past. So it shouldn't. If if you are talking out of fear, I think it shouldn't be the case. Yeah. Because if I'm with you in a relationship, I'm supposed to be a friend. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be open. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to feel free around you, vulnerable. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the word. You have to feel Even vulnerable. You have to be somebody yes. that I can run to yeah. when someone is after yeah. me. So if I tell you I have a past and it's terrible, and, and for that reason you would want to leave me, so be it. Thank you. And even sometimes there's a past you are not saying, but he's saying something that is connected to something that you have a mm. past. The signs will come up. So you see, you just need to share because you will be talking. And when there is that point you think it's necessary it's necessary mm -hmm. don't wait till something pops up what are some of the things you think you have to i mean open up with i think for instance if you have a child okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is one thing you can't hide yeah mm -hmm. you have to open up to yeah. the guy about it you yeah. have a child maybe you've had several abortions and you have some medical issue mm -hmm. as a woman mm -hmm. i think you should open up to the okay. To, to the guy about it because at you. the end of the day, even in marriage, if you hide those things, they yeah. are basis for which they can the cause divorce. A divorce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what what else do you think that you you can open up with? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I suppose that you can also talk about abuse if you have ever been abused. Okay. Before you can talk about it, so that sometimes, especially issues with abuse, 
if you don't take care, it will immediately your partner shows a sign or something. You might think that that person yeah, it gives you a red flag, exactly. yeah, yeah, and so, then you call back exactly. So issues on abuse should surely be discussed. Okay, Vida, what do you think? So same with the child. I think the men they should tell the women that they already have a child. <laughs> If the, you, that is if, if the men they do have they do have a child because you only mention the women because most often because the man you will not even see a sign that he has a child anyway okay. he won't say so you should and you should also talk about like how much you take or your your monetary your background or your finance yes okay. the you men should, should talk about it everyone should talk about it the financial yes. really in a relationship no it's not at the beginning it's not at the immediate start. But when you guys are heading somewhere, it should come up for discussion. But that you like marriage, Joe. Every day, oh, every no. relationship, you it's want not, it to head somewhere. It's, really. it, should, it, should be, it should be leading... Come on for fun. Come right. on for fun. But you see, if you it's know we are talking really about that part, uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, no, Lacey, you see, so, there are points where you just So the guys should tell us if they have kids. They How should. about the abortions? The guy, yes, or oh, you think, think that men don't do abortion? The girl who did they abortion give, they for give. the guy should go and say it. <laughs> <laughs> but talking about even having a child, okay? I met someone and the person told me that, Christ love, I have one kid, and that put me off. Okay. Don't want to be a mother of one. Don't want to be a mother of someone who is not my oh. biological child. So oh. that's why I said issues on past. Okay, so Christ love, that is good. Are you, you telling that? us that had the guy refused to tell you the truth, you would have gone out with the guy? Because you said that you don't need to talk about your past because they'll use your Christ love, no, by that, by that, wait, Christ love, you have to answer viewers. Are you saying that had the guy lied to you about it, you would have gone ahead with the relationship? Okay. Be, be I honest. Didn't make that mm -hmm. Like I met him today, mm -hmm. and then next day we were talking on the phone, and he just are you giving us a storyline? You're just not <laughs> answering the okay, question. Okay, okay. The, the the answer to that question is that from the beginning we were just building up as friends, mm -hmm. and he was opening up all of a sudden. Christ love, I have one child. You, because so you she, see, you and see, it's it, it, it just Christ cool. love. Okay, viewers, um, if you just join the show this is ways of love um coming to you on the two tv on the youtube on facebook uh, and it comes your way every now and then ladies meet to discuss relationships so i'm sure that as you are seated at home you definitely feel a part of it you can send your messages as well we're going to read for you but today we're talking about how or why it's necessary for you to discuss your past mm -hmm. with your present partner and um something just came up i hope you heard it christ love is talking about the guy okay so the fact is that i think that the guy was honest with you because mm -hmm. there was an interest there was a there was a point of interest that was why you guys were opening up to each mm -hmm. other and i'm sure he didn't know who you were because if he knew, he would have hit that side. Yes. Capture your heart first. Yeah. And then once you are in his arms, he That's tells it. you that when you know that you have already fallen, you will tell us how you will get up and go. <laughs> or maybe to, you he's see, been doing that. He tells people about who he is. No, so that that that's a, see, that the person has see, an interest. That is because that's a side like we, we are just discussing. That's mm -hmm. a side you can never hide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't and have it, to hide And it. even if you do, it will pop up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is good for him to tell you, a young girl who's just coming up, mm -hmm. that I have a child. Just remind Are you me. ready for us? That, and that means JJ. that they're telling you that they have a baggage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to carry me oh, and my mm -hmm. baggage? Thank you. That is the more reason why we are talking about past today. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. the, our past, our baggages, and everything we do, one way or the other, it affects us. It helps us build up because a lot of it we got we get we got our lessons from it from it okay and i was even some saying of something. the past has okay. helped us to become who we who are, we today. are yeah. today you understand so one of it is what you just said mm -hmm. and in other words or in the other on the other hand mm -hmm. some people would des would decide not to open up with At the past all. 
so that, like you said earlier, you you are the same person they will not giving that the past argument. Against that you. until it comes up, then we solve it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. would you have been okay if the guy had hit that side of him, mm -hmm. and then in the near future, let's say um, four or five months to marriage, he tells you. He tells you. I was even because saying you were that saying that we should wait for you for the person to ask. Ask before. Would you be okay with that? Or four or five months to to marriage, would you back off because the guy has a child? If I'm not interested. No, you're already you interested, already master. Interested. That's we you are went, preparing for marriage. You, went, you are you five months ahead with marriage. marriage. Uh, it means that That's you prepared ahead you with you it. Back off. You still you back off. Okay, yeah. it's fine. But it was. This reminds me of what happened in Ghana mm -hmm. after the demise of JJ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the people popping up. I'm his son. I'm his daughter. You don't know wh where you'll be in like 10 years. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll become the first lady. Mm -hmm. And there's that secret in your life and you're never not able to share. At the end of it all, it will come out like a disgrace mm -hmm. to you. Mm. you. You may have achieved so much and they'll think that you were not able to take care of your children or whatever mm -hmm. it is. But it was just because you were hiding from a past. You just mm -hmm. didn't want people to know. Mm -hmm. So it's very good you talk about your past as early as possible when you know there's a future. Okay, so that is one of the past. Another one about the past is, okay, you used to be a lesbian, mm -hmm. but now you've gone through the process and you want to make it right. Must you discuss that with your partner? How did you hey, go hey. through the process? <laughs> oh, you go through the process. You used to be a lesbian mm -hmm. and... Um, through counseling okay. and churching and okay. prayers and all that, you've come out of it. Now you want to go the normal mm -hmm. way. Must you discuss that with your partner? I still hold on to what I said earlier. I'm not changing my mind like Christ love. Which says? Yes. You have to tell your partner. Your part. <sighs> yes. Telling your partner <laughs> your past can also ruin the relationship. You know lesbianism, the way people hold lesbianism. Okay. People would, like he would see you somewhere like this lady. Imagine he in bed with you exactly. and you are not even responding. Yeah. What, what goes through his mind? <laughs> you are in the room with your female friend. Maybe that person is just your friend. Yeah. So hmm. That's why I said that the past eh, sometimes it makes people create a certain picture of you that in time you are not. Okay, so the frame they frame you, exactly. they put you in a frame, exactly. and you can't move out of that frame. But I think that mm -hmm. being able to share your past, whether nasty or whatever it is, is for your good. It's for you to be able to say that, yes, indeed, but I was this. Gone. Like it's gone. Yeah, but, but if it's, it's never necessary, us, that's what you don't get. We are saying if it's necessary, and if you, you know that sometimes there are people who still know you for who you used to be, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, who might come into your present moment mm -hmm. or like remind you of who, of who you, were. you used to be <laughs> and maybe at a point they are reminding you in front of your partner okay. what are you going to say it's it, it's okay when the partner knows about it has heard from you and he, he's hearing it from another person and imagine yeah. you going somewhere with your partner your current partner uh -huh. and then you meet your past um maybe your lesbian your partner. lesbian partner or maybe your past friend or your past partner who knew about yeah. the situation yeah. and they happen to be friends with your mm -hmm. present. present. Imagine how you're going to feel. You won't even feel fine. You might even go to the washroom so many times you will not be able to participate. I know. But you see, if you have built that kind of friendship that has led to a relationship and the person knows who you are now, the, like the person knows you, okay. the person doesn't know your past. He will not judge you with you. your past. Mm -hmm. It is hardly for him to hear something about your past and all of a sudden he thinks because he knows you. Like he knows who you are now. But people he pretend every day, he Christ knows love. The way you, you are talking. People pretend. He knows the way you behave. He the knows lot, the way you think. A lot of Christ the relationship we find ourselves in. Yes, you, know, you know, I know you to be all that you are that I know. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes to me, Fida, do you know that Christ love is like this? She's a murderer. Do you know, I'll see you and I'll, I'll, I'll still think that you are who you are. You I will see you and still that. have no, that no, medra in my mind. Not like that. I will you not. I'm telling you I will not because I will be thinking about it. 
Where, what does she use to kill people? Where's the gun? I will see you watching us. Where's the <laughs> knife? <laughs> okay, so Ways of Love, we're taking a short break. We'll be right back. And um, I'm sure the discussion is going on out there. Is it true? Or must you do that or not? We'll be right back. Back. This is Ways of Love. And with me in the studio is Christ Love and Vida. We've been discussing um, whether or not it's necessary for you to discuss your past and future with your present partner. And I'm sure you've already been enjoying the show. We're moving on straight, but would like to delve into the future. Yeah. At what point do you discuss the future? Is it that you just met the guy and you're like, no, 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 me. I'm ready for marriage, oh, Master. Mm -hmm. I'm 25 so years. <laughs> I can't wait for another five years relationship. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so first of all, must you discuss the future with the, the partner? You should discuss the future when you see a future. Okay, I like that. Okay. So when there is a future, then the future matters. When there's no future, goodbye to future talks. Yay. Yay. <laughs> what do you say? Christ love. Bye. Okay. For me, discussing the future is necessary, but the timing, you have to also check the timing at which you discuss the future. But sometimes when you meet someone and the first thing that you're asking is, where are we going? Like, especially on the part of the ladies. Ladies, immediately we enter into relationship, we are asking questions. And some of these uh, questions that's because the guy we are like, ladies, Abby. And we, we have to uh, know. Mm -hmm. But the moment you start asking questions, it's like, after we pray, especially on marriage, like, we just started, where are we going? Like, uh, no, we you see God, that baby may or not, but shorter, Aye, he's gone. He's gone. So, so, oh, 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 so tell us, at what, point, at, what point, at what point must we talk about the future? You must study the relationship for like five years. Not five. <laughs> <laughs> Not five. Mm. You must study the relationship and know exactly the kind of person you are going out with. And decide whether you really want to settle down in marriage with this guy. Christ love. Talking about I understand you, but a long trust process. Me, there's a long process. And, a long and, process. and, and look, so when there are a lot of people. No. Christ love. Will you just meet somebody and speak to the person? There are so many people when you're coming to work, you will meet, but you will not speak to mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. anyone. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying when there's a future, when you see a future, because I'm sure you have a lot of people who speak to you or who chat to you, mm -hmm. with you like frequently mm -hmm. on your phone. Mm -hmm. There are some people when they are saying something and you don't want to continue the conversation, you end it. You don't lead them on. Exactly. So you are supposed to let the people know, say, they are okay, can call at what point? At what point must we talk about the future? Like three years. Not three years. Like a year. Not a year. I think six months. Six months. In relationship is very sensitive. Okay. Someone can be in a relationship for one year, and the kind of the bond the love, the commitment is different from someone who has also been in, in a relationship for three years. Someone can be in a relationship for three or four years, but the way they are... That's because we are different human beings. Exactly. I mean, that exactly. one, yes, it varies. So but you realize that, okay, this relationship, I'm interested, this guy is interested, where it's going, like, mm -hmm. looking at the person, I really want to settle down with this person. Mm -hmm. Then we discuss the future. Is it That's just about, about you? you? No, yeah. Yes, and what if you even get to know this in two weeks? Or what if your mind tells you this in two, in two weeks? weeks? Okay. I know people who discuss even the names of their children <laughs> to their... And family. they're a different level, though. <laughs> 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 Okay. Okay. So the future, you are saying that it's not really important for you to discuss the future at all. It's important, but you must check the, the time, the quality, and the context of the relationship. Vida, what do you with yours? Yes. When there is a future, there's how a do future. you know there is a future? So, Nanisi. When someone likes you and you like the person, you know that this one day, 
I don't want to lose him. Mm-hmm. And like more conversations now, it's changing from time to time. Mm. At least you should know that where are we heading to? Mm-hmm. That one must you ask, bra? Where are we? Oh, my God. I just said, what are you So how? If you are a brand, then I will open so you're dating. What are you looking for? Uh-huh. Then I will show you. And I said, what kind of just, relationship? Just even ask brother that. No, sometimes No, sometimes even talking about the future is just looking at the person's, the other person's future. Mm-hmm. Asking questions about the other person's mm-hmm. future. Where are you going? Where, where are you going? Where do you want to be in five years? Okay. Where do you want to be in then ten you years? See if you see yourself in not, the picture. Yeah. Hey, we are going together. Me too, this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Hey, I want to da 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 da. You see that the conversations will be like, okay, so you're also in we have something in common. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because I believe that there's supposed to be a purpose for every relationship. Mm-hmm. And you will know if there is like a meeting line, you will know. Mm-hmm. If there's a meeting line you want to settle on the meeting line to rest there, you can rest. Mm-hmm. But if you know that this place is a young girl, you will just cross your path. Because wow. I believe that you have your brain and your brain is different from yours. And then they yeah, say yeah, they are steady, you, you have everything. to steady him. One year, what two years, then, three years. You are looking at me. Then we are studying. You are studying us. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see, we confirm for PhD. Hey, hey, what are you? Some people go to school, cry. Doctors, some people go in. At the end of it, all. Okay, so you are saying that you don't go direct to ask. Are you going yes. to marry me? Ask the person What's the purpose? Why are you person. going? What's your mm-hmm. um, dream? You see. How do you intend to achieve Thank it you. and all that? And then when you find yourself out in that, that picture, if you see that this one day, I, I see I have a play, picture. I have a role to, to play. play in there. Okay. Then voila. Now let's look at a few, like I'll let you know that look at me, you me too. I have this da da da. You see now, Mwambo will say, Okay, fine. <laughs> Probably the, he's the one like you are the one he's looking for. Mm-hmm. What's that here? So that okay. has a place in discussing the future. You see, I Timing is always with us. The time is always with us. Mm-hmm. You just have to make good use of but it. But no shine for frono no be man to your coin with the warrior me or because I will pray. Now be man no shine for frono again to your own chop you go chop. Ah, ah, talk about, about marriage. Obi mana se o pe se o be ji eni ji a. Ah, onu oba o. Do they talk about timing when they are they are in need of chop chop? And I think so. In any case, your past. And your future. Give me your final words. Let's go. Our time is already so, up. <laughs> I still stand with what I stand with. Your past and your future. You need to talk about it. So your past, no, no matter how long you want the relationship to wait or to get to before you talk about the past, sister or boy, the past will just come like a bit very round. It's a catch-up. You don't need it. And your future. When you see that beautiful future you have been dreaming of, talk about it. That's it. Chrysler, <laughs> your final words. Okay, my final words. The past, for me, the past should be discussed. But it should be based on whether the two parties or one of the parties is interested. interested. Exactly. Okay. And the future should also be discussed. But it should be the discussed time. based on the quality of the relationship. Exactly, because you can't just meet someone and all of a sudden you are buying utensils and people have bought utensils and are put in their beloved room and to think they are no more together and I can't worry for advice because you can't change. It doesn't hey! matter, you use it to yourself. <laughs> okay, so that will be all for Ways of Love today. I've been in the studio with uh, Christ Love and Vida. I'm Nani Sibwati. Join us same time. Let's have fun. Talk about relationship. Remember, The world and everything is about relationships. So build it up. Like I say always, relationship is like a tree. You nurture it. You you water it. You prune it. And it grows. See you same time next week. Bye-bye.